It's so magical. I mean, it's just a magical, spiritual. It is. For me, it is. Just spectacular. It's a place where people come from all over the United States and the world to come and visit. Um, it's serene and peaceful. And it's still very ancient and untouched. It's interesting that I think a lot of people, even from Washington State, don't realize that there are rainforests here on the Olympic Peninsula. Like walking into the Garden of Eden for me. This is gorgeous. This is like falling into heaven. We get about 120 inches of rain on the average a year. You know it's not uncommon for it to rain five inches in one day. It's beautiful, you know, and that's why it's so green and lush here. take a look at the world's largest western red cedar tree. It's over 1,200 years old, about 20 feet in diameter, I would say. So we just call it the Quinault Big Cedar, but it's the largest one in the world. We have six of the largest trees of their species, all living in this valley. Okay, come on, Queenie. Let's go, kiddo. <laughs> Get my feet in it, and then my yeah. feet might not be muddy. They might not be muddy, that's right. Where are we going? We're going to go see a really big tree. come for our mushroom festival, you'll see pink ones and red ones and yellow ones and blue ones and purple ones. Jump. There's never mushrooms. There's lots of mushrooms, huh? This is classic, temperate, coniferous rainforest, old growth. It's so cool! Look up, Grinch. You can actually look up through it and see the sky. see that the spatial relationship of these big trees is quite wide apart, which lets sunlight in through the canopy and provides an understory of vegetation, which is good for various species of animals. The elk and the deer like it because it gives them forage. It gives them something to eat. The 
If you look right over here, Kevin, that band of bark and cambium that runs up the side of the tree, that's the only conduit for food for the entire tree at this point because all the way around the rest of the tree there's no bark. Sitka spruce tree would not live to be much more than 800 years old. So this one has defied the actuary tables. Well, that's the trade-off. You let people come and see it and enjoy it and love it and marvel at it. In return, there's impact. That's always the way it is. Oh yeah, I mean, if you think about it, this tree has resisted disease. Yeah. Mankind. Yeah. Natural disasters. Mm -hmm. This is the tree that I call my secret tree. This is magical. <gasps> this is a big leaf maple tree. It's unusual as big leaf maples go because they often develop so much moss on their horizontal branches that when it rains heavily, horizontal branch can weigh an additional thousand pounds because the moss absorbs all of that moisture and the branches shear off. It can take a hundred years for a strand of this moss four feet long to grow. It's so magical. I mean, it's just a magical, spiritual. For, for me, it is just spectacular.